Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, if you can see, we got an empty table. And if you saw the thumbnail, we went to Facebook Marketplace. We had 150 bucks to spend so we could buy ourselves a new RC to play with. Well, a new, new to us RC to play with. Give me a minute, we'll get the camera turned around and I'll show you what we got. First off, don't forget, remember we're giving away a Traxa Slash VXL. She's a brushless addiction, 60 plus mile an hour. Someone's gonna love this thing and we can't wait to give it away. Now let's get this out of the way and we'll show you what we got. And here we have it, a team associated DR10. There was someone on the good old Facebook marketplace. They were looking to get rid of a bunch of their stuff. And we uh, offered them 150 bucks and they took it. This thing is a uh, 110 scale, two wheel drive drag car. We're not much of pavement people. So I think we're gonna turn this into more of a dirt style drag car. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So give me a second and we'll get this thing out of the box and we'll show you what it came with. So this thing came ready to run. I know it's been used and abused a little bit from the uh, previous owner, but he's just had it sitting on the shelf for a little while. So he's willing to get rid of it. So. Uh, yank this thing out of this big old box it's uh the biggest rc box i've ever seen so far um so it came with a controller obviously all the booklets and all that kind of stuff um it's got all the sticker sheet and stuff pretty much in it so it doesn't look like you ever really did much with that pair of wheelie bars and it did come with another set of tires these ones seem really nice soft and sticky uh they're uh reaction they're from proline um, they're already pre-glued and stuff, so we'll definitely have to try those out. And then, there's the car. Get this big old box out of the way. And then obviously here's the car. There's the battery. It's a 5200Z battery. Um, haven't heard of the name, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. He says it's ready to go. He's replaced the motor. Still got the original servo, uh, all that kind of stuff in it. He says the last time he had it running out, it was doing 60 mile an hour. We'll have to see. I'm sure that's just some sort of Facebook mumbo jumbo to get it sold, but you never know. We're not much of like drag strip pavement guys. We're more of a dirt fun loving kind of people. Um, so I think what we're probably going to end up doing with this if you didn't watch my last video, please go watch it. It's going to be showing what, what we're going to be doing uh, for a track build this year. Um, we're going to build ourselves a dirt drag strip. So we're going to have to get ourselves some paddle tires. I'll show you a picture of those right now. I'm going to set up nice sand tires for the front. I'll drop a picture of those as well. May have to raise this thing up, give it some new shocks. God knows what we'll have to do. But I think we're going to see if we can turn this thing into a nice straight line running uh, sand car. Maybe even a bit of a mud car. Time will tell. One thing we have to get, it doesn't have the diff cover for it. Um, it's got like a, I do believe it has a slipper rear end in it. Just like the Traxxas cars have. Um, I don't know much about them. I'm, I'm going to have to read the, came with the full manuals and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll, we'll flip through all that stuff so we can learn. The controller's got a ton of different settings on it, so we don't know much about it. But we do know the plan, that's for sure. It's been used and abused. The body's scratched up and beat. The one corner's kind of broken off. I don't know if you can see it there. So we may end up having to find ourselves another body. Um, if, you guys any, if you guys have any suggestions on what you think we should use for a body for this, what we can buy, please let us know. Um, I'm thinking more of a truck-style body. I don't know. Drop it in the comments and let us know what you think. Um, did come with obviously the wheelie bars. We may throw those on so we can take it outside, give it a little run uh, down the road, that kind of thing, just to see what it does before we change it over. Um, give me a minute and I'll get this battery on boil. We'll plug it in and I'll show you. Uh, he did. We did plug it in at his place, make sure it ran. And man, did those tires ever swell up. Um, so I think that means everything's working well, right? So give me a second. We'll be right back. So, get the charger turned on, plug the battery in, and let's see what this thing does. 
A little rainy out right now outside, so we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to take it outside and give it a little run and bash through. But I did want to show you this. I mean, the uh, it's got a nice, pretty touchy controller. I'm assuming some of the settings on the top are going to let us uh, adjust some of that. We'll do a little read up before we go for a run tomorrow. But uh, as you can see, those tires swell right up. Very nice. I'm glad they're glued down. Obviously, they have to be for this kind of thing. But uh, I'm thinking that this thing is going to have a good amount of speed tomorrow. So I can, she just wants to twist right out of my hand. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be fun. So we'll do our reading up. Wait for this. Sorry, I stopped for this thing here. We'll do our reading up. We'll wait for the uh, rain to stop outside. And we'll go outside and bash this thing around. Hey, Core here, Canadian RC guy. Just stopping that video for a minute to remind you. If you're not already a subscriber... Hit that subscribe button. At a thousand subscribers, we're giving away this Traxxas Slash. So at 1,000 subscribers, someone's taking home this brand new Traxxas Slash VXL. Brushless power, 60 mile an hour. Someone's going to have a lot of fun. A few moments later. Well, sorry if it's a little windy out here, but it is the next day. We got some sunshine. We came down to like our local high school. It's got a nice big parking lot. It's gonna let us give this thing a few quick runs, see what it's all about. So let's get this camera set up. We'll go for a rip. So we went ahead, put the wheelie bar on. So hopefully that'll keep us going a little bit straight here. But I'm sure after a few runs, maybe we'll rip that off and give it a more of a bash. It's not like we have to worry about these tires since we're gonna be changing this whole thing up. But let's give it a couple of runs and see what this thing has. Whoa, she is definitely squirrely right out of the box. I think we, uh, maybe we need to heat up the tires a little bit or something. We've obviously seen them do that online. We've watched a few videos. Let's uh, see if we can warm up the tires a little bit here. See if that makes a bit of a difference. go warm them up a bit oh she still she still just goes sideways even with the wheelie bar on I uh there is quite a bit of dirt out here that's for sure Let's see if we can uh do this holding the camera one hand it's a pretty big controller she definitely just goes sideways I feel like this uh, the setup on this thing is not done very well I'm not gonna lie I don't know much about it so that's why we're turning it into like a, a sand drag car a basher that kind of thing I think, uh, I think maybe we'll just grab the wheelie bar off here. Just take this thing for a bit more of a bash around the parking lot. I think that could be fun. Give us a minute, we'll be right back. So there we yank the wheelie bar off. Let's go around and see if we can bash this thing around. I'm pretty sure it's going to be great at doing donuts and all that kind of silly stuff. You can, you know, you crank the throttle down, you can barely hold on to it. She's just all over the place, man. As soon as, as soon as you hammer that throttle down, full throttle, it's like those tires just swell up too much. You can get a good quick run out of it. Oh, curb back. But, uh. This is definitely a great little car. You know, I'm, I almost want to take this thing to the skate park and bash it before we do it. What are your thoughts on that? Go give it a few jumps. I mean, we're pretty much going to be redoing the whole thing anyway, so. But it's definitely a great little fast car. If you're into drag racing and that kind of thing, definitely something I'd say bye. Um, but for us, we're not big drag racer guys. We're more bashing kind of guys. So, uh, 
we're gonna change this thing up into something a little bit better for us. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that build series. But as for now, we're gonna give this thing one more quick run. Maybe we'll go park it against a wall over there and see if we can get these poor tires smoking. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think we should go do that. Yank drew over to the curb here. It's not like we can hurt the body, the tires, or any of that sort of stuff. So let's see what she does for a burnout. Oh, she's not wanting to do it here for some reason. There we go. I think she's uh she's wanting to overheat a little bit on us. There we go. Just burn those tires right off until she stops. See if she's got any black marks underneath her. Oh yeah, she's definitely burning away. There we go. Burn those tires off. See if we can blow this thing up. No, we don't want to do that, but. <laughs> she, uh, she'll definitely lay down the marks if we want to, that's for sure. But we don't want to hurt this thing too much. So as usual, thanks so much for watching our video. If you know what we should do to this thing down here, we have some great ideas, but if you have any ideas, drop them down in the comments. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for us. So that way you don't miss the build on this, the track build and everything else that's coming up. And don't forget, we're gonna be giving away that Traxxas VXL brushless. So make sure you're a subscriber for that. Thanks so much and we'll see you again soon.